Twisted Kids. Twisted Code. What could that be? Hi, this is your host, Coach Newton. You are back for the second challenge. What is it with those Twisted Kids? I'll show you how to create your own Twisted Projects in code on scratch. This is challenge number two of Spring Break 2019. So I did want to say welcome. Make sure you watch video one so you can kind of see what we're doing. Today we're going to work on collecting more stars on our Panucation Knowledge Tokens. So let me explain today's challenge to you. Remember, code on. That's our theme and motto to keep pushing forward. Don't ever give up. Things are tough, challenging, but uh, I'm glad you're here. Today's challenge in code on number two is to create your project in scratch using a set number of commands. So I'll show you which commands you have to use and how many sprites have to be in there. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. But let me first go back here to the train tracks. This is a famous land site in Boise, Idaho. Uh, some of you may recognize it as the depot. All right, so let's get coding, right? Let's see what we've got here. So I'm gonna show you the uh, projects that we're gonna be using here. So I'm gonna sign in, not as Coach Newton, but as the student, SDB20. I had my own password. You can watch video one to figure out how to get yours. Or you can always contact me. You'll see at the end of the video how to contact me with your parents, um, email. Here we go, we're signing in. First project I'm going to see, hey, what's my stuff? So here's challenge one. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project. Create, this is gonna be challenge two. Give it a title, challenge two. So here we go, challenge two. I have not shared it yet, but I see the name is there. So these are the blocks that you have to use in these projects. You need a when clicked, when the sprite is clicked, um, when, let's see, when the space key is pressed. These are some nice event blocks. So remember, events are where the computer will react to the commands you give it when an event can, uh, occurs. Okay, so then there's some motion blocks we want to have. There's move 10. Definitely want you to use the glide command there is a go to x motion command oops i didn't want those to snap yet i'm going to close my little window this is a handy little spot you want to see more of scratch code space run click here if you need a little more space for code which i need right now and then the other commands that you need is uh, say hello uh, which is always kind of nice to add to your projects the other one you have to be a little bit under control is sounds. So let's say, let's play a meow until done. Let's try that. <coughs> Yikes, that is loud. Remember to turn down your volumes <laughs> when you're at home. Uh, another one that's important for looks, um, that's the sound one, but let's add these looks, is you need to show a sprite. Scroll right down here, there's a show and hide. These are pretty two important commands for making your projects pop out when your sprites need to be hidden. And let's see, change size by, this is another one, I'm not gonna snap it, change size by, and you can type in the numbers here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, how many commands? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, a couple more blocks here. Uh, the other one that's important that we talked about in the first one, under control is waiting, adding some delays. The computer is so fast, you need to add some time to delay. And of course, the all important repeat block. Where would we be without repeating things easily in the computer? And this, uh, there's something called repeat forever. That's the other block that you need to have in your project. So those are blocks that need to be in your project. Uh, let's see if I got them all, I got the wait repeat and forever got the change ah, i missed 
change color by. I did a change size, but there's another looks one that I think is kind of fun to play with. Uh, change color. Let's change color effect by. There we go. That's one I'd been using. All right, change color effect by. And that's how I created my world kid. So these are the commands. This is the twisted kids I use right there was change. I did change whirl. Watch what it does to Mr. Cat when I click it. Let's put this down here so you can see it. Let's whirl effect by 100. Now, if I want to see just the effect of this command, I can just click it. Ah, look what it's done to Scratch Cat. Poor Scratch Cat. Okay, so let's see. The other thing I think you're going to need that uh, wasn't listed is something to kind of reset, <laughs> clear the graphics. Yeah, if you're going to be whirling your 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 uh, your characters, if you keep kicking whirl, what has happened to Scratch Cat? Anyway, that's an effect of 100. Maybe we should make it smaller steps. But here's where Clear Graphics comes to the rescue. Ta-da! All right, so you need a program with these commands. Hope you got these all. You can watch this video here. And one last thing. Not only are you going to need to use all of these commands and kind of figure out how they play together, but I would like you to have at least three sprites in your project. So remember how you create your sprites. Then right down here, choose a sprite. Let's not import anything yet. Just, just uh, choose a sprite. And I had picked from people and kids and music and dance and food and fashion and letters. Uh, you name it. So I'd like you to have five sprites in your project, five sprites, and they're all interactive. So you need to use those blocks of commands, figure out which ones you want to use with each sprite, and go from there. So for example, let's say I want something to happen when this bat gets clicked. And when the sprite is clicked, I could pull it over here, or uh, let's see, I think I can duplicate. And when I duplicate, if I just hang it over the bat, and I go to the bat, where is it? Come on, where are you? Well, that worked for me earlier. It might be easier just to kind of add the commands yourself, one by one. Okay, I hope that helps you kind of get started. So remember, use all of these commands, add at least five sprites into your project. I'm going to do how about a basketball and make each sprite interactive in its own way. Uh, let's see, there's a lot. This group, ooh, butterflies are beautiful. So remember, you can make them all interactive and each has their own code. So enjoy and let's uh, look forward to seeing what you create in this here. So let's see, here we go. If you have any comments or questions, uh, don't forget to just have your parents contact me at code on panucation.org on Coach Newton. Remember to code on and have fun with it. I'm looking forward to seeing your projects posted in my studio.